preparing for this role initially back in season one, were you impressed, scared? What was your impression of women during that time period and the role you were going to get to play? Well, I was excited for for this role in particular because I was playing someone who really had professional aspirations and dreams. You know, in the first season, we meet her as the first woman to hold a position at the New York Police Department as a secretary to Theodore Roosevelt, the police commissioner at the time. Um, but we clearly see that she wants even more than that, so much more. And and I loved that we got to come back and and continue to tell the story and her story. And um, we see her having opened her own detective agency and have a, a group of other young women who are, are working with her and that she's sort of being an example to. And, you know, we get to see her continue the the fight for progress and the fight for equality and and sort of what it means to be a modern woman in 1897. Did you find it educational? I mean, I, I thought it was interesting that there are real life characters like Roosevelt, who you just mentioned, kind of intertwined with fictional characters. I did like that. I mean, I think, you know, something that we've always said is it's a very entertaining history lesson in a lot of ways, you know, in, in both the first and with the second season, you get to see real life figures and and moments in, in history captured on the show. We see um, Elizabeth Cady Stanton and the suffragettes and, you know, we get to to touch on a lot of that um, through woven through the the fictional storyline, which I think kind of helps keep it real and 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 grounded in in historical facts. It, and it's impressive how relevant Dakota, don't you think it is to things that are still happening today in today's world? Absolutely, yeah, I really do. I, especially with this with the with Angel of Darkness, I was I was really struck by a lot of. The parallels to to current events and to to topics we're um, discussing now daily, um, and I think it's important to you know I think people could possibly hear oh it's a period show and um, you know it's it's set in 1897 and oh that's such a long time ago and I I think that with the first season I think people were surprised how how relevant it was and and so I think this time around it it could possibly resonate even more. And with that time period discussion, uh, you know, we watch shows like CSI and SVU, you know, all the law and orders, the technology used to help catch the bad guy. Uh, it kind of shows where it starts, doesn't it? It really does. That was something that I was attracted to right away with the story was the birth of forensics and the methodologies that are used now for um, criminal investigations. I, I was really fascinated by that. And we get to go deeper into that through the the returning characters, the Isaacson brothers played by Douglas Smith and, and Matthew Shear. We they're kind of the the forensics guys and they're teaching us about um you know these new these newfangled methods of like fingerprints and autopsy and all the things that we take for granted as a as a part of those crime shows these days. Dakota, I know that you have played so many different roles, but was it kind of fun to dress this part and literally uh, take on this time period in when it comes to physicality? Yeah, I, I, you know, a big part of it is obviously the the costumes, especially for women. I mean, men men too, actually. Um, but uh, I I think it was kind of everything in terms of the physicality. It was just sort of wearing the the clothing and the corset and all of that naturally affects the way that you move, the way you sit up and, and get out of a carriage and get into a carriage and 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 mm -hmm. stand and everything. So that sort of, I didn't have to do too much acting there. It was kind of taken care of with, with the clothes. <laughs> and again, a once it's a, such a kind of, I guess it was a twice in a lifetime with, because doing two seasons, but you know, it, it's it's not every day that you get to experience what it would have been like to, to, wear, um, to wear the period clothing. Dakota, your resume is so impressive. You have been doing this for, for so many years, starting out um, as a child actress. I don't want to say defy the odds, but what do you give credit for having the longstanding career that you've had without kind of getting mixed up in all that bad naughtiness that some child actors tend to get mixed up in? Um, I mean, listen, I, I, I don't know because my life is just my life you know I'm certainly not I'm I'm certainly not perfect I've certainly made mistakes I think I think in terms of just professionally I've always just loved 
what I do. And that's been at the heart and the root of, of why I've continued. Um, and so I think that's really important. You know, if you're, if you're really, um, happy where you are and you feel like you're supposed to be, you know, where you are, then I think it's kind of easier to make good decisions. And, um, I have a wonderful family and friends and have certainly not had to do any of it alone, which is always very, very helpful.